Traditional coaching would tell you not to use your hips or even restrict your hip turn in the golf swing. I'm here to tell you that that is just not good advice. But more importantly, I'm gonna show you how you should move your hips so you can add some distance and some accuracy to your shots. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Kolb, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And let's dive right into this. Traditional coaching would tell a lot of you that you should restrict your hip turn. All right, so what does that actually look like when somebody restricts their hip turn? Let me show you, here's what it looks like. They're sat in there, they're trying not to turn their hips, but they're trying to turn their upper body. So from a face on view, they're trying to restrict their hip turn. You might have heard this, okay? You might have heard this. Restrict your hip turn, but turn your upper body. Let me see if I can actually even hit a shot doing that. Makes me a little nervous because it's hard on the back. Restricting my hip turn, turning my, turning my upper body. Now, I know I exaggerated that a little bit, but you get the idea. Have you ever been told to restrict your hip turn? Well, what should you be doing? In my opinion, you should actually be moving the hips in two ways, all right? Let's talk about that. Way number one is side to side, okay? So here we go. Let me show you what you should be doing. I've got my live view set up here in, in the face on view. We call it the caddy view. I love the live view because it literally is a live view of what we're actually doing. All right, so I've got two lines on here. I've got a blue line, and I've got a red line. So see the red line right here? I got the blue line over here. Now, the first thing you wanna do with your hips is you wanna move them from side to side. So you're gonna start with a little bit of weight pressure on your lead foot. So notice how my hips were right in the middle, and I moved them towards the target. So that's tip number one. Get your hips over your, get your left hip, your lead hip over your left foot to start. And then the first thing you're gonna do with your hips is you're gonna bump them to the right. It's just a mini bump. So here we go, I'm gonna hit a shot. So I'm starting left, bump right, boom and turn. All right, that's not restricting the hip turn. That's actually moving your hips. So the first way that you have to move your hips is you gotta move them from side to side. I had actually even developed an entire system around this. It's called the vertical line swing system because how you move your hips and how you move your body and your arms are vital to playing good golf. And, it, and I don't like restricting anything. I don't like restricting arm movement. I don't like restricting hip turn. All those types of things I don't think work out very well. It's precisely why I developed that particular program. So the first way that the hips move are a little bit of side to side. We call that unweighting. Start a little on the lead side. They move a little bit to the trail side. Okay, that's the first tip. Now, the second way that the hips move is in rotation. So we had a little bit of side to side, tiny bit, side to side. Now we're gonna rotate, we're gonna rotate. So I've got this little microphone box in the back of my pocket. I do this drill a lot. Okay, so let me show you first of all what it should be doing. So I start a little bit, lead side, move trail side. Now the second part of the hip movement is rotation. Okay, so from down the line view, if I put a line on the back right here, okay, you can see that line right there, right? I should bump and then my back pocket turns into that. And I'm gonna show you a drill you can do for that. So let me go ahead and actually hit a shot and tie that together. Here we go, I got the live view face on. a Little bit of lead side, I'm gonna go trail side, bump trail side, and then rotate, here we go. Okay, now that felt rhythmic, that felt easy to do. So, I wanna share with you a drill to do, and I'm gonna show you the last part of it here that's probably the most important part of how you move your hips. Now the drill, I got the microphone box in my back pocket, but with my students, okay, they might put their phone, put their phone in their back pocket, okay, on their trail side, and I'll tell them, all right, Bill, or Amy, or who's ever here, I'll say, all right, you're gonna bump, and then I want that phone to work back and away from the target line. So that phone works back and away from the target line. See how I do that? Now, from the face on view, this is the beauty of live view, I bump and then watch my hips relative to that blue line. See that? They actually turn. So I start lead, I bump trail, and then they rotate. See that? That's the key to how the hips move. Here we go, another one, and I'm gonna show you the key to making this all. We're gonna bump, and then we're gonna move the phone back and away. Oh yeah, that felt rhythmic, that felt solid. Now, if you haven't already, hey, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, join the family here, leave a comment. Have you been told to restrict your hip turn? 
Let me know if you have, or what other content you'd like to see me cover and us cover here at US Golf Team. We've got a great team. We've got a great team here. We've got our man Nick behind the camera. We've got George. We've got a great team here that's helping you play better golf. What do you want to hear from us? We're going to be sure to cover that for you. Now, the last thing I want to share with you here is how we make all this happen. This is the key. It's in the trail leg. This is the key concept with the vertical line swing system that I've developed. Here we go, when you're set in there, you know now that you're gonna bump, you know that you're gonna turn, but the only way to do all that is to make sure that your trail knee, your trail knee releases a little bit. See that? If you keep your trail knee flexed, you're, you're not gonna be able to bump, or it's gonna be difficult, you're certainly not gonna be able to rotate and you're gonna have problems. So here we go, let's tie it all together, I'm gonna bump, I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna, the trail leg is gonna release a little bit to allow all that to happen. Here we go. Best one of the day right there. So you wanna move your hips in the golf swing? You've gotta move them. Don't let somebody tell you to restrict your hip turn. Bump them, turn them, release the trail leg. If you do those things, you're gonna move your hips correctly. You're gonna improve your contact and probably even add a little bit of distance.